All right, Mr. Joey, we back at it again. Glad to be back in the studio. But over over the couple weeks, I've, I haven't been in the studio. Uh, every week, God would be hitting me with different things. And one of the things he hit me with was, who are you? So when that hit me, I was like, okay, well, you know what? I'm a father. I'm a telephone technician. I'm a singer. I, I play do all these different things, you know, being a major, being managers at different companies. But he's like, those are the things that you do, or those are titles you have, but who are you? So when you think about it, and you start just really kind of focusing on who you are, it's definitely not the things that you do, but what's inside of you. So really what's inside of you? Is it what people tell you that you are? So, you know, on your job, you go in and most of the time, every month or usually yearly, you get your evaluation. And in that evaluation, you have somebody telling you, hey, you were a good person or you a bad person. You did a good job or you did a bad job. And nine times out of 10, what happens is when they tell you something good, oh, you take that in. But when they tell you something bad, Oh, that's that's not me. But when you know who you are, it doesn't matter what anybody tell you, you know. So for me personally, Christopher Bugner, what happens is I'm just one of those people that just really, I kind of just let people talk a lot of times. And, you know, people expect you to do certain things all the time. And when you don't do those things, what happens is they'll call you up. And look, hey, why didn't you do this? You know this and blah, blah, and they're getting on you. And then I'm not saying anything at all. So what happens, Mr. Joe, is they'll get on the phone. Hey, you still there? Oh, yeah, I'm listening. Well, why aren't you saying anything? Oh, well, I really didn't know you were talking to me because what you're saying, that's not me. Uh Uh-oh. Now they really get mad and they go off on you. Oh, you just like your dad or you just like your mom. Well, I might be like them but I'm still me. So know who you are. So who are you? It's not the things you have. Yeah, you can have a nice car. You can have a nice house, good paying job. But what happens when that car crashes and you don't have that car anymore? Is that still you? That house, you lose the house because you done lost the job. What happens then? Is that still you? Absolutely not. Who you are is what's in your heart. The love you have or the hate you have. The kindness you have or the meanness you have. Who are you? And once you realize who you are, you definitely know who you are not. And you can change yourself, become a better person, and be the person you're supposed to be. Morning motivation. More to come.